Good morning, Modern Setters. This morning, we're converting our walk-in cave slash root cellar into a walk-in refrigerator. Let me show you how we're gonna do that. The ductwork that we had going outside to bring in the inside cold air in the winter time, I removed the ductwork. I got an LG 10,000 BTU air conditioner sized for our room. And I still have room on the side, so later on I can put cold air return intake and exhaust vents for the winter time. Now to do this, we're going to be using a cool bot. One of the things you need to do to get your cool bot working is you need to remove your AC temperature sensor. And I need that out here. I guess I should start from the beginning just in case I lost a few of you and don't know how I'm using an air conditioner to turn a cave root cellar into a walk-in refrigerator. They make a control panel called the CoolBot. It's right here that you plug into and wire up to your air conditioning. And what this does, it ends up hijacking your air conditioning and turns it into a refrigerator unit to make your own air compressor to cool your room to keep it the right temperatures. If you go on CoolBot's website, I'll put a link in the description down below, it tells you what size air conditioner you need for what size room depending on how cool you want to keep it. If you're a florist and you want to keep your room a certain temperature, you're going to need X. If you want to keep it 38 degrees or for home brewing, just there's all different sorts of things you can use a CoolBot for. And their website's awesome. If you go over there, it'll tell you what size, or you can pick what size room you have, or you can get an idea of what size room you want to make, and then you can size your air conditioner and get the cool bot. Also, I'm going to put a link in the description down below. If you use that link, you get $20 off a cool bot control unit. Our control unit, then we have three different sensors we're going to be hooking up. The two blue ones are the same. One is going to, you're going to plug in for room temperature. The other one you're going to put into the fins of the AC unit. The black one we're going to plug in to where it says heater. And this wire right here, we're going to hook up to the sensor I took out of the air conditioner. We have a power control unit to plug in, just like this. I'll give you a piece of tin foil. We're going to need that. And I'm going to grab a couple of zip ties. If you haven't seen the build project of us building our root cellar slash cave, I'll put a link to that playlist right here. But the reason we're doing the cool bot now is it's still pretty cold outside here in northern New Hampshire. It is 41 degrees in the cave. So the temperature we're aiming for is 38. And the reason we want to do that right now is next week we're having our pasture to plate whole hog culinary class here and we want to make sure we have a good cool place if we need to put the carcasses or store the meat at night or during the day. We don't want to run out of refrigerator space so we're getting this hooked up in time for that class which is exciting. So what we need to do, sorry if the camera angles don't change too much but it's kind of a small room in here and I can't move the camera around that much. But what we need to do is the fin one needs to get installed. So we're going to install this sensor first. Let me show you what we need to do. In between here and here in the fins, I need to install this sensor just a little bit, about a third of an inch in, they said. So I'm going to spread that and we'll get that inserted. Now I'm going to go right here in the middle. The diagram shows it in this area. Grab one of my zip ties. I want to make sure it looks nice and neat. So I want the wires to go nicely. Let's see if we can There we go. That looks nice. Now I need to plug my 
unit in. All right, there we go. Our wires look nice. Now we can hook up the control unit. So that's gonna plug in over here. Plenty of room to plug that in here. Like so. Be able to wrap Do that like here. Just want to make sure we have enough room for all of our wires and it'll look nice once we're all done. Perfect. So I'm going to install the cool bot right here. I'm going to throw another screw in the cool bot. So now we need to take the heater wire, which is on the red end, and the black sensor from the AC, put them together, and they give you a piece of two inch square tin foil. We need to wrap the sensors with this. And then we're gonna take a zip tie and zip tie the two wires together right on the bottom alright that looks nice this one is the room sensor so we're gonna kinda keep that a little loose I don't know where the best place for that's going to be. So I'm going to keep it just over here for now and we'll keep an eye on it and then I can rearrange my wires and find the best location and the nicest way to mount all of them. Plug our cool bot in. All right. Turn this on. We want to set this for the lowest setting, 60. We want the fan as high as we can get it, and we want it on cool. Now we need to set the temperature in here. This right here is giving us the room temperature. It's a solid color, so we know right now it's 41 degrees in here. To set our temp, we're gonna hit the check mark once, and it's set at 38 degrees. That's what we want it to set at that. If we want to go down, we hit the down arrow. If we want to go up, we hit the up arrow. And then once we have the temperature we want, we hit the check mark. Awesome. So it's 42 in here. Now that I know everything's working good, I'm gonna cut a couple of pieces of foam, one to stick here, and then some to stick down underneath and slide them in. Awesome! I'm gonna leave the wires like that for now to make sure everything's working nicely and then we can rearrange stuff. the outside. I'll show you how I have it mounted on the outside and we'll cut some more foam for that end. Here's one thing our LG air conditioner has a plug that we need to remove and that'll let the water drain out.
don't like how I can still see daylight out here. Perfect. I can still see a little bit of daylight, but I'm pretty sure that's the best we're gonna get it. So I'm gonna get some caulking and I'm gonna put a silicone bead of caulk right here just to keep that cold air. It's cold air now, but later on it'll be hot air in the summertime to keep that out. Turn it back on. So every time we do that, for us, we gotta make sure we're on cold mode and our fan speed is up. All right, we'll go back in a little bit and check and see how cold it is in there. Now that it's been a few hours, let's go in the cave and see how the cool bot is doing. Oh yeah, it's nice and chilly in here. This thermometer says 37.9. The cool bot is saying 39. Power, room. The heater must be kicking on to defrost it. It's blowing cold air. I can't quite see my breath, but it's nice and cold in here. This is gonna be nice for curing meats. We can change the temperature on that anytime we need to. So if we're using it for brewing or fermenting, we can have different temperatures and have a constant temperature, which is nice. If we don't need it, we can shut it off. <laughs> Let's go out there, it's kinda cold and noisy in here. What do you think you're doing? Huh? Back up, no. Uh-uh, it's not for you, mister. Crazy animals. Oh, that's not for you in there. Now for butchering your own animals and doing all the stuff we do here, it's not a necessity, but it's nice to have it. It's a convenience. We run two refrigerators right now at our house, so the goal is once that's been up and running for a few days and we know how it works, we'll unplug our second refrigerator and that'll be our second refrigerator instead. It'll be interesting to see on the electrical bill with the differences. So I wanna make sure I can get our second refrigerator unplugged and use the walk-in cooler with the CoolBot. CoolBot was nice enough to send us the CoolBot module and they're giving us a link to share with all of our viewers. If you guys order one, you get 20% off. So thank you CoolBot, that is awesome. They have a really good website to size an air conditioner for your room. You can use a trailer. If you can't build your own, you can buy a unit from them, the freezer and everything. So it's pretty neat. They have really great technical support. I've called them and chatted with them and it all went awesome. Great company to work with. It's supposed to be more energy efficient to use the CoolBot with an air conditioner than it is to use a regular walk-in cooler compressor. So I'm going to be keeping an eye on our electrical bill. We'll definitely be putting it to the test in our upcoming class. So that'll be good. Thanks for coming along on our crazy journey with us. Once we get all caught up with the class, hopefully we'll have more time to make more videos for the whole family. Right now we're all trying to scramble and get everything caught up and keep everything going. So we got the class, we're looking forward to it. We want to make sure we have good food. We want to eat good all the time, so we want to make sure we have good food while the class is going on. We don't want to skimp and just have meh food, so we've been staying busy with that, cleaning up. It's been crazy. Winter is slowly letting us out of her grip, so there's a lot of outside stuff that needs to get done, that can start to get done. So we've been busy, which is good. So thanks for coming along on our crazy journey with us, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye. Thank you.